All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important video to bring you all because in this video, I want to describe to you guys how if you've ever used MetaMask or another extension type wallet, then you may potentially be vulnerable to hacking and lose all your funds. If you have any state tax, if you've ever participated in the Pulse Chain or Pulse X sacrifice phase, if you're doing any kind of DeFi, if you're holding any kinds of funds on a MetaMask wallet, then you are potentially vulnerable to being hacked, including some other wallets as well. So folks, in this video, I wanna discuss some potential attack vectors and how to protect yourself from being hacked and how to secure your financial freedom. Very important video. Make sure you guys watch, stick through to the end, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon to find new uploads. And without further ado, let's delve into it. So people, a recent news article came out from Cointelegraph describing how MetaMask and many, many other crypto wallets are potentially susceptible for a new kind of attack vector. Ladies and gentlemen, the internet is a mess. If you've ever opened up your email, potentially clicked on some kind of sketchy link, or if you ever received a text and, and clicked on a link you weren't aware of, then believe me folks, that device may be compromised. There's so many ways to compromise a device that's attached to the internet. And now we have news of, but another avenue to, to potentially directly attack crypto hodlers through their wallet. If you think your MetaMask is safe, it's actually much less safe than you think because a recent piece of malware named Mars Stealer, the new malware is a powerful upgrade on the information stealing OSCE Trojan of 2019. According to security research researcher 3X Port, it targets more than 40 browser-based crypto wallets along with popular two-factor authentication extensions with a grabber function that steals users' private keys. So ladies and gentlemen, it is extremely easy to compromise a device that's connected to the internet. If you ever click on a wrong link, either by text or email, or if you use some kind of password saver, if through whatever way your device is compromised, you can install a key logger, tons of different kinds of malware that can steal your passwords. And the way MetaMask works, folks, I know many people, in, especially our audience, uh, uses MetaMask, stakes, hacks through MetaMask, probably sacrifice for Pulse Chain, Pulse X through MetaMask. If you're using MetaMask, folks, the, you, MetaMask stores your private keys on an encrypted file on your computer. It's actually very easy to find that file. And, and if a hacker can get a hold of your password that you used to log into your MetaMask, then they could use that password to decrypt that file on your computer and get a hold of your private keys and steal all your crypto, all your hex, all your sacrifice, any crypto you might have on your wallet including NFTs. Now, this article goes on to explain the malware targets a file that holds sensitive information such as crypto wallets, addresses, info, and private keys, and then leaves the system by deleting any presence once the theft is complete. Hackers are currently selling Mars Stealer for $140 on dark web forums. So folks, this particular piece of malware is but one example of the endless avenues there are out there there are out there for people to gain access to your device and potentially your passwords and then therefore your seed phrase. So if you have any funds on MetaMask, believe me, folks, you are far less safe than you think. If, if some reason, by, by whatever means, if someone can get a piece of malware on your computer, they can steal your passwords, they can put on a key logger, they can do a bunch of things and gain access to your personal information, your financials, your emails, and even your seed phrases. So hopefully, now that I've scared you all well enough, I do want to let you guys know something that I've done and something that I believe everyone in this crypto space should do in order to secure your financial freedom. Because folks, how much would it suck if you invest your hard-earned money, your time and effort doing research, following, taking a risk, investing in a cryptocurrency such as PulseX, your hard-earned money, your time, you wait for a year or two, you get that 100x, you get that 1000x, and all of a sudden, you put in all that work just so you can be hacked. Folks, take your security seriously. You do not want to be that statistic. You do not want to be that person who puts in all this time and effort and sacrifice and make it 
only just to be hacked. But ladies and generals, fear not, it is not all doom and gloom. There is a way to properly secure your MetaMask wallet. Here we're taking a look at our VIP Discord group. There's a link to join that down in the description below. If you want to support us, uh, you get access through our Patreon. Link for everything is down in the description below. So in our group, I've recently been discussing how to properly secure your MetaMask. And it's very simple what you guys need to do. Folks, unfortunately, we all need to shell out the money and buy a hardware wallet and connect our hardware wallet to your MetaMask. Once you do that, that is how you can properly, securely hold funds on a MetaMask. So, two most popular options are Trezor and Ledger. There's a link down in the description below for a Ledger hardware wallet. Folks, always buy directly from the manufacturer. Never buy from Amazon. Never buy from any third-party vendor. There's... Sometimes these third-party vendors, they're sketchy. There's been a history of people uh, repackaging, opened up treasures and ledgers, um, downloading malware, stealing your seed phrases. So always buy directly from the manufacturer. Again, if you want to buy it through Ledger, there's a link down in the description below. Also, Trezor is another very popular hardware wallet as well. So folks, I'm not actually going to delve into all the step-by-step -step details on how to migrate a MetaMask to a hardware wallet. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to a couple videos, some short videos, some long videos, walking you through the process step by step because I don't wanna make this video too, too long. I just wanna show you guys why you should be worried and how to protect yourselves and how to actually migrate a MetaMask wallet to a hardware wallet. So if you have hex stakes, if you sacrificed uh, to Pulse Chain Pulse X from a MetaMask, MetaMask wallet, don't worry, you can protect it by migrating your seed phrase from your MetaMask to a hardware wallet. So let me just briefly describe you guys how that works. And then again, if you want further in in instructions, I'll leave links down below to videos that further more in-depth step-by-step break down the process for ledgers and treasures. But just so you guys know how it works on a theoretical level, the way it works is that folks, number one, if you've Again, sacrificed uh, for Pulse Chain using your MetaMask. If you have some hex stakes, whatever it may be, if you do whatever in DeFi, number one, make sure you have your seed phrase written down on a piece of paper. Never take a picture, never screenshot your seed phrase. If you already have, consider that wallet compromised and and move your funds off into a new wallet, a hardware wallet, or a MetaMask connected to a hardware wallet as soon as possible. Your seed phrases never touch the internet, folks. So once you have your seed phrase, you, you uninstall your MetaMask simply by right-clicking and removing from Chrome. When you do that, they remove that file from your computer and your extension is no longer on your computer. What you then do, folks, is that with your brand new Ledger or Trezor or one that's been reset, you import, when, whenever you're opening up a new Ledger, and you download Ledger Live, that kind of thing, you can import an existing wallet through a seed phrase. So you take those 12 words, 24 words from your MetaMask and you input that on your new Ledger or Trezor. And then once you do that, everything that was previously on your MetaMask will now exist on your Ledger or Trezor device. Then what you do is you download MetaMask. Once again, you open up a brand new MetaMask account with a brand new complicated password that you write down on two separate pieces of paper and you tuck away uh, in a bunker somewhere, all right? Including your new seed phrase. And you open your MetaMask, click here on the avatar icon, then you go to connect hardware wallet. Then here you simply connect your Ledger or your Trezor to your device. Click here on the continue, then your hardware wallet should pop up. You simply connect and then you will have, and then once you've connected your hardware wallet here, instead of account one, it will also then say Trezor one or Ledger one. And then your old MetaMask that you then imported onto your Ledger will then appear here. When it says Ledger one, that will actually be your original MetaMask, because again, you deleted your old MetaMask, you imported it through a seed phrase, not on, on MetaMask, but through your Ledger or hardware device. So now your old MetaMask is now on your Ledger or your Trezor, and then you connect your Ledger or Trezor to this new MetaMask account, and then your old MetaMask will simply show up here as Ledger or Trezor 1. So what this does, folks, is that if anyone wants to move your crypto, they now need the password to your new MetaMask and the pin to your hardware wallet. So they need both your password to your MetaMask and your physical hardware wallet in order to move your crypto. Folks, this is the number one safest way to store your cryptocurrency. MetaMask alone 
is vulnerable to being hacked. But if you attach a hardware wallet, either Ledger or Trezor, you are much, much safer, orders of magnitude safer, because now you have an additional layer of security with that MetaMask password and you need the actual hardware device itself with the pin to ever move any crypto and ever make any transactions. So folks, I know that was convoluted. I really just wanted to quickly break down the steps. Again, I will leave links down in the description below to videos, short videos and long videos, depending on what, what your tolerance is, that break down step by step how to migrate a MetaMask wallet onto a hardware wallet. It is essential if you want financial freedom, if you intend on buying your financial freedom in crypto, that you take your security seriously and you cough up the 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever it is to secure what could be a potential fortune in the future, at least I hope. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Again, links for everything down in the description below, including to join our VIP Discord group where I talk about my thoughts on the market, what I'm buying, our portfolio, take profit strategy, that kind of thing. Links for everything down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Until next time, take care. Yo. Hey man, sorry to bother you, but listen, I got, I got uh, liquidated using your fucking link, eh? So I'm just calling to uh, see if I can borrow five bucks. So every day you wake up with a new reason to why you got you need five bucks, you know. Fuck you, I'm not subscribing. Bro, you might as well you know what? You might as well just unsubscribe anything drops, <laughs> every time something happens, every time you know you lose money, oh call me, so let me ask you for five bucks. You're you're a fucking I, scammer, you'll go show some shit coins. I I am right now, man. I am right now, don't worry. Good good, alright. Alright, don't call me again.